I think me and the group absolutely have fallen in love with Palestine and its people. Everywhere we've been, and we've been from Nazareth, Haifa, Janine, Al Farah refugee camp, uh, Nablus, Ramallah, Bethlehem, Hebron, so right across the country, and everyone we've met has been so welcoming, so hospitable, so warm, so kind, so generous. The land is beautiful, but the people are even more beautiful. I think what we've all learned, particularly this time, is that the restriction on people's movement is really causing so much suffering, so many problems to the people that live here. So if somebody lives in Bethlehem and they work in Hebron, it's so difficult for them to get there. If somebody has family in another town or another city in Palestine, a, a normal short journey can take hours or become completely impossible. Uh, my impression of Palestine, it's, it's a gorgeous place. This is the third time that I've been here. Um, and I've known about the um, Palestine-Israeli situation for a number of years. Always wanted to come here, felt very frustrated um, about not being able to come in the past and not being able to do anything. Um, and then I finally got the chance to come out with medical aid for Palestinians and I'm aware of the great work that they do. It's a gorgeous place, gorgeous country, but, <laughs> and it's a very big but, and there's huge problems here um, because it's illegally occupied. So, but it's a gorgeous country with lovely people. Everybody I've met, I mean, let me just say, they've been wonderful people and so inviting. And But every one of them has said, you must go back to your country and you must tell everybody about our situation. You know, we've been with people who have never been able to travel to Jerusalem, for instance. I've been to Jerusalem more times than they have, and they've been born and lived in this country their whole lives. And we've got very close to people who their movements are restricted and anything we would call human rights is completely completely um, ignored and they've asked me and my uh, friends on the cycle to go back to Britain and make sure everybody I have uh, any any possibility of influencing uh, is is told about this and they said encourage other people to come as well because I think that's how people here hope that this kind of news blackout and distortion uh, can be overcome by getting people to come. I mean, all freedoms are curtailed. Freedom of religion is being curtailed. Um, freedom of speech is being curtailed. Freedom of the media is being curtailed. But I think the thing that's really struck us is the restriction on people's freedom of movement. And I think that, that causes tremendous problems and tremendous suffering to the people here. Mm -hmm.